Welcome, guys, to this episode of Brent Trucker Uncut. <laughs> we have um, a new product that we are dying to try out. I got this for Ellie for her birthday. Say hi, Ellie. Hi. <laughs> um, this is the Omnia stovetop oven. You wouldn't think that this is an oven, but it is. So let's take this out. We'll give you a little look at what comes in the... Little look-see. Little looky-loo in the... This is the oven. It looks very simple. Okay. And what we have under here is everything is in here right now. All the pieces. That's the lid. And as you can see, it looks kind of like a bunt cake pan. But it is not a bunt cake pan. I mean, I'm sure you could cook a bunt cake in this. But let me just take all the pieces out and I'll show you it one by one. And then we'll start cooking some stuff. We're going to start out with something... Very simple, but we've never cooked we've never cooked anything in this before, so these are silicone liners that are made to cook in. They're good up to like 500 degrees. You could put a casserole or bread or whatever right inside of these liners. You think we should leave a liner in there and just cook? Oh no, we're gonna use a, a paper. Yeah, just the thing. paper, I think. So it also comes with some paper liners, some little parchment papers. Also comes with a baking rack which fits in here just like that so it kind of keeps things off the bottom you could throw like chicken breast or whatever kind of meat uh, whatever on there I'll take this line out too set these aside okay this little liner is just going to go right here in the bottom so I'm going to get this started we're getting this is the first thing that you would put down on the stove this is the bottom rack. This is kind of what conducts all the heat. You want to place it right on the stove. And it's steel. Yeah, stainless steel. And you want to light this up. And you get it nice and centered. Yeah, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up. This is going to start glowing red really soon. Um, I'm going to heat that up really nice. I'm going to go ahead and give this actually a little bit of a rinse. We've never used it before. So I'm going to wash it off a little bit with my running water over here. How luxurious. That's the water pump you hear. Water pumping. I'll go ahead and rinse this one too. Just because everything's new. It just came in the mail. So that, that lid has holes all around it. Yep. You can see there's holes all the way around. So while this is heating up, let me just kind of tell you how it works. This hole here in the middle, this is going to go on here, but you can see there's not a hole in the top. There's only these side holes here. So the heat comes up from the middle and goes around and it's like a convection oven that you can put right on your stove top. I'm going to go ahead and get this started because while that's heating, we're gonna start off really simple and we're gonna make some Pillsbury crescent rolls. Um, not something we usually eat. The reason that we actually bought that, we bought that like a month ago because we went to the grocery store and it was right when uh, um, Shelter in Place was starting in uh -huh. California and there was like no bread. Yeah, so we were like, let's get so some we're kind like, of bread. Uh, so. All right, let's get one of this these is always things. My favorite. And it's been like sitting in the fridge, and it's the last thing in the fridge. Like <laughs> nobody wants to ever use it. You can see it's starting to glow red a little bit right there in the center. It's really it's hard to even tell, but it is starting to glow red a little bit. Just keep that. I wonder like if we turn that. the lights off if we can see it. Let's see. Mm, you can see it a little bit. Yeah, you can see that side right there starting to glow. But um, this is my favorite thing to do in the world. It's kind of scary. But uh, this is my least favorite. Press the spoon. Oh. <laughs> Did it scare you? Every time. Every I also time. don't like opening champagne bottles. I love it. <laughs> so much fun. Okay. So you wash your so hands, right? Of course. And I wash this counter as well. Good. Set this up over here. Okay. This is kind of a messy thing here. OK. 
Okay. You guys have had crescent rolls before. Oh, there's a little, there's a little schmutz that got in there. You just put it on the floor. Yeah, that's good. You could put a paper towel down or something, maybe. Mm. A plate. For the dough? Yeah. Okay. This is butcher block. This is made to cook on. I should alternate. These might come out a little stuck together. That's okay, though. We're, we're going to try to fit this whole roll in there. So I think normally that steel plate, the bottom of the oven, you heat for like just two or three minutes. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Well, it'll be. It's kind little, of like preheating the oven the idea. I've heard such good things about this little oven, so we thought we would use this to upgrade our cooking repertoire a little bit in the bread truck, because we do a lot of cooking. Uh, now we can bake things, which is really cool. a lot of dough. I don't know if this is all going to fit in there. So isn't this exciting? We're making bread in the bread truck? First time ever. I don't know if this is, is this bread? I mean, kind of. It's like corny, you know, easy, cheap bread. Cheap bread. But it's bread. It's breadish. Red, like, yeah, these are all gonna fit. We got this. How do you like my my uh, form here? You're really a master baker. <laughs> I'm master baking right now. Okay, you guys can can't even tell. And of course, true Polly style, he did not read the instructions on how to make these. <laughs> of course not. So now the package is all ripped up. So you can always go back and they usually strategically put the directions on the package Heard. so that you can see <laughs> yeah. after you've ripped it. Okay. I think I fit these in here pretty good. They're like, they go all the way around. You gotta give us a little peek at it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Before. The raw. I'm gonna clean this little bit of dough off that got on there. Put that in our compost uh, bucket. Okay, so there we have it. That is all the crescents in the pan. On the little piece of parchment on paper. On the parchment paper. Smile for the camera. Ting. <laughs> this this the will before. be the thumbnail. <laughs> this will be the before. You Dang, can, we're already up to nine minutes. You can split oh screen it with the before and after thumbnail. Okay, so now I just set this on here. Yeah, you can turn it down. And turn it down a little bit. And pop the up, the top on, right? That's it. Okay, I'm going to set my timer just because. For what? Start stopwatch. Well, because I want to, I'm going to look at the instructions. See, look, I, put, I did it right. So <laughs> they strategically put the directions so you can, you don't rip it. So what it. does it say? It says heat oven to 375, uh, 350 for dark or nonstick cookie sheet. Okay. Well, uh, roll up triangles, bake nine to 12 minutes. So that's why I said that because I, we shouldn't have to really look at this. No, I don't think it's good to open it. Yeah. Because you'll lose all your heat that you're baking with. So what was it? Nine to? Nine to twelve. Okay. So are you just going to dance? Yeah, we're just going to hang out. We're going <laughs> to talk while this is going. And, uh, you know, say what's going on. What's going on? Yeah. So what's going on, Paul? What's going on? Uh, you know, just making some crescent rolls. You know, you were here. <laughs> Anything <laughs> new and exciting in your life? 
Um, new and exciting. I thought you said nude and exciting. No, not really. Just been quarantining like a boss. We're gonna, we're going on a big trip tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna go see some babies. We're gonna le not only leave the farm, but we're gonna drive an hour, over an hour. Yeah. Away from to, the farm. We're heading down to Sacktown. Sacktown. The Bay Area and back down. I knew you were gonna say that. You're like, please don't say that. I know. Please. I was like, as soon as you said please it, I was don't. like, oh, here it goes. <laughs> um, so we're going to Sacramento and it's gonna feel pretty crazy. We've been on this farm for a month. I have only left once to go to the grocery store. Paul's had to run a couple errands, but mostly just been here the whole time. And it's going to feel a little wild to be in the city. Yeah, I've left to go to get my taxes done, which all I had to do was walk up to the door and um, stick the documents through their mail slot. So I didn't even uh, interact with anybody. But... Um, but you've, yeah. you've been in a vehicle. I have. I've, I've done some driving just around town and all that. But, yeah, haven't really gotten out much. So we're going to go down there and meet, meet my best friend's newborn twins. Newborn twinsies. And they're in quarantine because, you know, she had to have them in the hospital. And so they're quarantining from everybody um, not just for the, obviously to keep the baby safe and themselves safe, but also just to keep all of the rest of us safe from them. They could be infected. In case they have it. So we're just going to have a garage meeting. We're going to like go drop off some sourdough bread that we've been making and bring them some other goodies and, um, meet, have a little garage party from the opposite sides of the garage. Yep. We're going to not touch the babies we're just gonna look at them from far away but i have an idea here since this has no temperature control really only just the heat is your temperature you don't really know what's going in and you know what kind of temperature you got i have this probe so i'm gonna stick this in here and just kind of see where we're at uh it only goes up to 315 degrees and it is still getting warm it's not all that hot yet so it is, is it, climbing though is it on medium heat oh uh, yeah pretty much oh this is going pretty good actually we may use this in the future this little device here because we could just like leave it like that you know to check the um thingamajigs We're up to 250, 255. I, I imagine it's going to continue rising as we are cooking because it's get, it's warming up itself as well, you know, so. Um, we're getting up there to almost 300 degrees. It only goes to 311, so that is one limitation of this probe. This is made for more, like, prepared foods. So you would check to see if it's done cooking and whatever. See if it we says error. It. See if it says error at three oh, yeah. eleven. Well, it said three seventy five. Morning, morning. Yeah, it's getting close. Oh, it's oh. gonna do it. It froze. I think, I think it is still raising in temperature. This is just the limit. That's as high as that. Yep. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So, okay. I mean, I think we are in pretty good shape there. Um, yeah, definitely great. It seems like it's about the right temperature, you know. Um, but you can do a lot of things with this uh, little oven. You could make like an entire lasagna or a shepherd's pie. You could make a pizza. You could make rolls or bread of any kind. It can bake pretty much anything that you can bake in the oven as long as you can fit it in that round pan. Cake. So cake you could do desserts and cakes and we're at five minutes and 30 seconds right now and i'm starting to smell I'm starting to crescent too. rolls no no so um that was pretty exciting <laughs> it's pretty cool i don't even remember where i first found this thing i must have been on like an advertisement or somebody's 
blog or yeah. something. But then after you found it, uh, Stefan, one of the viewers of the channel, has one and has been talking about how great it is. Um, he's the binge watcher that's been watching all the videos all the way through. Oh, maybe that's where I first heard about it. Maybe it could be. It could have been from him. It could be, but Was I thought like... you heard about it and then it also came up in the comments. Oh, maybe that happened. Yeah, I thought you had seen it somewhere else. And then he started talking about it, so I was like, huh. And he raves about it. He thinks yeah. it's awesome. I've so. been really wanting this, and um, it's pretty pricey. It is kind so of pricey. it's not something that I would just, like, buy for myself just to, you know, have. But it's it was an awesome yeah. gift. Big Papa Polly just makes it rain, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> Why you got to ruin everything? <laughs> No, I was just waiting. I was just seeing what you're gonna say next. I was like, keep going, keep going. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a gift for both of us, really. It really is. I mean, I'm gonna enjoy this just as much as you will. Eh, maybe not just as much because you're really, you love bake. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really, it's really good. like smelling, like baked goods. If we had some Nutella, we could have put some Nutella in the inside of this. Mm, yeah. Um, I really want to take a peek. Of course because you do. Because it's kind of, it's getting up there. I don't want to burn them. It's already no, no, at seven minutes Well, now. let's wait till ten minutes. It could be too late. It said nine to twelve minutes. Oh, let's wait for nine minutes. I don't know. What if this is at 500 degrees right now? You know? If you're worried about that, then turn it down. I know. I think it's a <laughs> pretty good temperature, but I'm going to take a peek. Get up close so that you can enjoy it too. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, they're looking great. Okay, I think we're in great shape. I'm I'm not even gonna check I'm not even gonna mess with the temperature. Okay. Um were you able to see it? Yeah. Okay, good. They looked amazing. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell them. They smell so good. Yeah, they're all gonna be kind of connected, but that's all right. We can rip so them. So what apart. do you guys you guys should give make uh suggestions of what we should make in here? Or give us recipes or recipes. Omnia recipes yeah. would be great. Or even just like your own casserole recipes or whatever kind of recipes and we'll we'll pick some of them and we'll make them. That'd be cool. We'll give you oh a God, we'll give you a shout good. out. It's starting to smell really good in here. It smells really good. I wish you guys had smell a vision, but you don't, but that would be great if you guys had smell a vision. What do yeah. you think we should make? Uh I'm really thinking about like a chicken pot pie or um, pasties would be great. Mm -hmm. um, some kind of like stewy, you know, with crust, like. Uh, Started off know, nice and simple. Pot roast <laughs> with like, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you'd have to cook all the meat and stuff first. I would like to bake some meat in here too. Just like mm -hmm. put chicken breasts on here or whatever, chicken tenders and yeah. bake it on the rack. I'm thinking like a calzone or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like that seems a little simpler place to start as far as like making the dough and wrapping stuff in it because the stuff inside's already all cooked and Yeah. Well, I mean with a chicken pot pie it would be too. It'd be about the same difference. Mm -hmm. you know? You'd cook all the stuff separate like the insides and then Did you put see it a recipe for it? Um, no. I mean, I saw people making it. There is actually an Omnia Facebook group that I just joined. So I was like looking through all the options there uh, today and what people do with this. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Pretty cool. It, uh, it all goes away into this little bag. This is what it comes with. Um, that'd be cool if this was recipes, wouldn't it? There's like four recipes in there. Is there? Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. There's a bread recipe. And a chicken and rice recipe, and a cake or something. Ooh, we might be able to use a cake one. Can look at but, it. But um, the I like this because it's pretty small size. I mean, everything here breaks down into this one bag, and we can tuck that away under the counter. There's a lot of recipes actually. Is it sweet? Um, yeah, so we were, we've been wanting something, another cooking option, and we were, used our friend Jason's Instapot. We're at 10 and, minutes and 30 seconds. Um, it was really awesome. The Instapots are so cool, but they're so big. I think we gotta check. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 11 minutes now. Okay, you ready to check? Yeah, we were gonna do an Instapot, but they're Instant so big. Pot. Okay, we're not quite there yet, but the bottoms are getting dark. So turn it down. I think I'm gonna turn it down some. 
I wonder if I should take them out and flip them or something. I don't want to burn the bottoms. So this is our this is our learning curve time here because we don't know how hot the flame gets this. And right now it's only a quarter turn. That's like really low. If we're boiling something or cooking something, like this is really low temperature. So um, I think this is gonna take very little propane to do these things. And um, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Cause we could throw something on here and cook it like this for like an hour. And yeah. it wouldn't even take that much right. fuel. Yeah, that's what I was reading about people talking about, like, um, oh, like making chicken and veggies or something like that, and just how you have to constantly be stirring it and doing all this stuff. And with this, you can just put it on and leave it for 45 minutes. And, really? Yeah. Sweet. And you just leave it on a low um, heat, so you're not using that much propane. Okay, we're at 12 minutes now. Take one more look, maybe? No. We're at 12 minutes. You just looked. I know, but this is, I can smell it. It's starting to get dark. I think we should pull it. No way, they look so doughy. We may need to flip them. I think we did it a little bit too high. Oop. It's so hot in I there. have an idea. Okay. What? Um put another one of those little paper rings or put the baking rack or something. Wood. Which is really hot. <laughs> Because we're losing all the things. Um, yeah. Okay. Baking rack. We don't have any pot holders. Or, or put one of those pieces of paper on it. No, no. I just need something to hold it with. You think these gloves would be okay? Yeah. To hold the lid? Hold this. Oh. I don't know. All right, they're not oh, ruined. Oh, put that paper back in. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Okay. I'm just gonna crisp them up. Oh, they're all coming apart now. Woo! Yeah, you gotta be careful not to put your hand over that center section because the heat is just gonna fly right through that. Okay. There we go. Now we do the Lid. other side. Back on. Five minutes. Not even. No way. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. Can't do it. How are we doing on battery life? Oh, it doesn't show you when you're recording. It mm -mm. doesn't make any sense. We're over halfway there. Mm, can we sip that water? Yeah. Totally, dude. I seriously think this only needs like a minute. Because they, they were actually edible the way they were. Eatable. Why are you staring at me like that? That word. Eatable? Here, look at this. Distract yourself. No, it needs to come out. Like, it does not need long. <laughs> that might be in Swedish. Yeah, Sweden. Some delicious Kerrygold. Kerrygold. Okay, I'm calling it. I'm turning it off. It doesn't need that much longer. Gonna be buttering these up. Those look really yummy. They're like golden. They're a little, they're a little dark. Not some of them are are darker than others. Like those two. Couple, yeah. But I think we're in good shape. Right. It's a little. It might be a little doughy. Yeah. Should I fire it back up? Well, just open it up. The. Yeah, you should. We'll try this one. I mean, they're they're pretty close. Yeah. It's not. Um, it's fully cooked inside. Sorry, the light on this camera is making it not that clear. Is it like um, blown out? But, yeah, maybe. Wanna try it? <laughs> nice hand-eye coordination, depth perception. I mean. Pretty good. What do you guys think? Ready for my first bite? It's doughy. Mm. 
It's a little doughy. A little bit. Well. Wow, it's all in sweet. <laughs> oh, There's English in there. But it's pretty funny, the recipes that they chose to put in there. Mm, yeah. Filet of port stuffed with bacon and cheese. Pork, it's supposed to be. Port, it says. I know. <laughs> Thyme bread. Ham and blue cheese tart. These people clearly aren't Americans. Chicken and rice. <laughs> Find the right heat. Not too high, not too low. <laughs> Thank you. See, classic Paul, reading the instructions after. <laughs> There's only four. There's only four in there. Four for, for English, at least. Mm -hmm. But I bet if we made the ones in Swedish, it would probably turn out pretty funny. I wonder if there's meatballs. <laughs> probably. What and else, like what elder, else do Swedes even eat? Like elderberry. Fish. Things. Fish. Yeah. Yeah. What Hot do you think? dogs and pizza. What do you think? You feeling it yet? No. no. Not yet? No. Oh, man. You're killing me, Smalls. Killing me! <laughs> So, just one little side note. I love my new lamp. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. He seriously lights that when he wakes up in the morning, and it's the last thing to go out at night. Yeah, and it's it burned for like three days on one tank. It's so good. Oh, boy. Nice milk supply hat. Ding. He also wears that all the time. <laughs> yep. And my Ellen DeGeneres shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm such a whore. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I mean that in a good way. <laughs> what do you think? No? Man. Are we going to do this whole thing uncut? We're just going to put the whole thing out? That's almost 30 minutes. Boom. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> 30 minutes to cook. Even all our banter and our bickering. <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes to cook. Everyone uh, will be like, Ellie told you. <laughs> That's all right. All right, let's check it. I'm just going to do a flip on one and see. I think we got some brown. I think we can call it. What do you think? Um, see how the others are doing. I think we just take them out, let them rest for a little bit. Or just turn it off and, and close it. Okay, I'll turn it off and close it. I'm going to turn it back upside down the way they were. Sorry, guys. This is not my best camera work. I'm getting distracted by looking at it in real <laughs> life and, and forgetting that I'm holding a camera. Okay, we'll put that on and cut off, cut off the gas. Okay. Cut off the heat. You're so amped up. I'm just trying to keep it interesting for the view. That's all it is. It's not like... You're doing a little dance. Yeah. I'm not like really like this. It's just, you know, trying to keep it interesting. Keep you guys on your toes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, you did something today. I did. We could show them this for sure. I made a little improvement. These had no kind of thing to hold them in. So now they got a nice little stainless steel bar going across and all the books get held in and I could drive around we don't have to take anything out of this shelf now and that's my side I have the bar there as well pretty cool and, uh, yeah I think it looks great so red trucks really stepping up these days really coming together really something okay you gotta eat one of those yeah delicious Sun. Is it time? It's time. I'm going to start with the dark one. Just to get it out of the way. They're not that bad. Oh, I thought it looked good. But you might want to put that lid back on. Oh, yeah. I think we're good. Okay. You got to do your after shot. <laughs> what after shot? You got to do the before and after thumbnail. Put a little bit of butter on there. Ooh, yum. It totally worked. Is it cooked all the way through? Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. It's not mm -hmm. too burnt flavor. No. It's got a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's not, it was a great experiment for our first time. Yeah, it was a great place to start. Because I felt like if we totally ruined them, then it was just a pack of crossing rolls. I wasn't real concerned about it. Yeah. Um... And it's good to know like how this temperature kind of works. We didn't use very much gas and it was really hot. So I think we could turn it way down. I think a good experiment since this probe only goes up to 300, see if we can control the heat and keep it at around 300, you know, and like actually figure out where that is on the dial. That will probably be helpful. Mm -hmm. Or I wonder if we had used the silicone thing. You should hold the ah, thing up. Maybe. Oh yeah. And let me flip them all over just so that Sucks that we ate a couple because <laughs> it's not uh... an accurate before and after. Yeah. I need a pot holder. Put my glove on. Ellie's gloves. Ellie's gloves. Her glomets. Oh, I don't need the bottom. Just hold it this way. <laughs> now, now it looks Perfect. like a full pan. <laughs> Have a thumbnail in the. Do it one this, more is time. How, this is how we do the thumbnail. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually we just pick out a frame. Mm -hmm. All right. But cool. That's it. That's the it. Omni oven. The Omnia. Oven. Omnia. Omnia, yeah. The Omnia oven in full effect. And stay tuned. We'll be cooking all sorts of stuff in this. And you guys have been asking for cooking videos. They're coming. We're going to start making cooking videos. Send us recipes. Send us recipes for the Omnia oven. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Hit the like button and uh, drop a comment below. And we'll see you guys down the road in the next episode. Bye.